Cancel culture strikes again. When Howard Stern moved from terrestrial radio to Sirius back in 2006, everyone in the media thought he was crazy. The media just could not understand it. He has an audience of 10 to 15 million on radio. This will be a colossal failure. Satellite radio has less than 1 million subscribers. They will go out of business paying Howard Stern. Of course, the media was wrong. Again, it's rare that the mainstream media actually gets something right. Howard Stern was ahead of the curve. He was a visionary. He saw the future before it even happened. He knew terrestrial radio was dying. Think about it. How often do you get into your car today and turn on the radio? I have not listened to terrestrial radio in 15 years. I crossed over to satellite in 2006 when Howard Stern debuted on Sirius. When I get in the car today, I'm mostly listening to YouTube. The reason Howard Stern moved from radio to satellite, he was tired of being censored. He was tired of being fined by the FCC because some soccer mom in Topeka, Kansas, got offended that he was interviewing a porn star. Now, the Howard Stern show today, it's a shell of its former self. But those first few years at Sirius, that was some of the best radio that you'll ever hear. Howard Stern was unleashed. He had freedom. He could say whatever the hell he wanted. We used to live in a country where if you were behind a paywall, you were protected from cancellation, protected from censorship. Now, I can understand the constraints placed on terrestrial radio. I can understand why you need to control the content on there. But behind a paywall, it used to be anything goes. Not today, of course. It does not matter what platform you're on. It doesn't matter if you're behind a paywall. The censorship police are out in full force, and they will find you. Mark Lai is a former professional golfer and former host on PGA Radio at SiriusXM. I would imagine most of you probably never heard of Mark Lai. I hadn't until this morning. His lone PGA Tour win happened before I was born. I've never listened to PGA Radio. I like playing golf. I play all the time. I can watch golf for a little bit on TV, but listening to golf on the radio, that's not what I call entertaining. Over the weekend, Mark Lai was calling Pebble Beach on PGA Radio. The topic of women's sports came up. Mark Lai, he was actually attempting to compliment the ladies of the LPGA. The LPGA, it's seen increased notoriety in recent years. Many people prefer watching the women instead of the PGA Tour. The men's tour... It's become more about long drives and putting. Some feel the LPGA better showcases the mechanics of golf. No one cares, though, that Mark Lai was trying to compliment the women of the LPGA. No, no, that doesn't matter. The focus is what he had to say about the WNBA. You know, the dying lead that gives social justice warriors wet dreams every night. Here is what Mark Lai had to say about the WNBA over the weekend. You know, the LPGA Tour to me is a completely different tour than it was 10 years ago. And uh, I, I don't know if you were working that tour back then that long ago, Craig, but you could 2011 really, to 2016. You couldn't pay me to, to watch. You really couldn't because I just I couldn't relate at all. It's kind of like, you know, if you're a basketball player, and I'm not trashing anybody, please don't take it the wrong way, but I saw some highlights of ladies' basketball. Man, is there a gun in the house? I'll, I'll shoot myself <laughs> to watch that. You know, I love watching the men's basketball. I love watching the men's golf. I never used to like watching ladies' golf. You probably already know the remark that triggered SJWs. This man said he would rather shoot himself than watch the WNBA. We cannot have this type of rhetoric on satellite radio. He must be fired. Let me explain something to the mentally challenged. There is something called being facetious. Wait, wait. That's too big of a word for them to understand. There are these things called jokes. What being facetious or joking means, it's when you say something you don't really mean. You could be doing this for various reasons, having a laugh with your friends, or in the case of Mark Lai, he was trying to emphasize a point on the radio. Point being, the WNBA sucks. It's unwatchable. Is there anyone that disagrees with that statement? 
Judging by their attendance and television ratings, over 99% of the country thinks the WNBA is unwatchable. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, J.A. Adande is still collecting a paycheck from ESPN. The same J.A. Adande who compared genocide to voting rights. I didn't see SJWs calling for him to be fired. Outside of Fox News, I didn't see any backlash in the mainstream media over the weekend over J.A. Adande's remarks. We are all adults here. Any reasonable adult knows Mark Lai was being facetious. He was kidding around. In 2022, that is enough for you to be canceled. Take a look at one of the tweets from a social justice warrior. Take a look at this. Hmm. So Mark Lai can't joke around about harming himself, but you can joke around about burning a building to the ground. This Jill Lawson, whoever the fuck she is, she did the same thing that Mark Lai did. Why should we be surprised though? We all know SJWs get off when they see a burning building. Come participate in our community circle jerk as we watch the community center burn to the ground. There are also accusations being thrown around that Mark Lai is, of course, a sexist because he doesn't like the WNBA. I can relate to this. I cannot tell you how many times I've been called a sexist when I tell the truth about the WNBA. The SJWs, the feminists, they can't stand when I shit all over their crown jewel, known to us common sense thinkers as a dump. The WNBA, it's like a giant landfill. Landfills are necessary, but no one wants to live next door to one. The woke view the WNBA as being necessary, but no one wants to watch them. No one wants to go to their games. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I am glad that the women of the WNBA have the opportunity to, uh, to live out their dreams, I should say, for playing professional basketball. My issue with the league comes in when they start demanding more money and the league has never turned a profit. The WNBA is heavily subsidized by the NBA, and they still find a way to lose $10 million every season. Just because a man criticizes the WNBA, it doesn't make him a sexist. When I'm critical of Greg Popovich, I never get called a man-hater. I never get accused of not liking white people. When I criticize Leah Thomas, I don't get accused of hating men. But my God, I criticize the ladies of the WNBA. He hates women. He doesn't believe women deserve the same opportunity as men. A week or two ago, when I defended Mina Kimes after Jeff Garcia went after her, I still got called a sexist. I don't like seeing people lose their jobs over something that they say. Yes, I said J.A. Adande should be fired by ESPN over the weekend. I said it. But that's only because the playing field should be leveled. You can't have it both ways. I, like I said, I don't want to see anyone fired for speaking their mind. But if Mark Lai is going to be fired for something he said, how come it's not the same for J.A. Adande? We all know the answer to that question. If you're in Club Woke, if you're a graduate of Woke U, you have the freedom to say whatever the hell you want, as long as you're in compliance with their agenda. If you're a 69-year-old white dude, keep your mouth shut, peasant. The standard here is not the same, and the rules are constantly changing. These people, they take one remark, step in jest, and they take it literally just to ruin someone's career. Awful announcing, which is one awful piece of shit website. They're not as bad as Deadspin yet, but they're well on their way. But Awful Announcing said, Mark Lai's comments were gross on so many levels. You know what's gross? Being employed at Awful Announcing. Jay Rigdon is the writer of the article. According to his bio, Jay is not a strong swimmer. Hey, Jay. I hear it's likely Leah Thomas won't be allowed to compete at the NCAA level anymore. Perhaps you can give her a call for some swimming lessons. Maybe even a nice romance will develop out of it. Hell, maybe you guys can get married. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of two confused individuals. One who can't get her ego-inflated head out of the sky, and the other who can't get his head out of his ass. Let me know what you guys think. 
Should Mark Lai have been fired while J.A. Adande is allowed to continue working at the Worldwide Leader in Woke? Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys later.